All right, how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Ignite Stock. Now, this is a company owned by Dan Bilzerian. This is the worst company you guys can possibly invest in. And um, especially with a CEO or an owner of a company that's almost a billionaire, basically. So this is actually um, a pretty crazy stock. I'm gonna be talking about it in this video. It's definitely caught my eye and man, okay, you would think, all right, let's see what this um, company is all about, right? So Ignite, right, okay, not bad. They're selling CBD kind of type of products, you know, like in the marijuana space. I mean, it's a pretty good growth company, right? Oh, they got Cardi B in their website uh let's look at their like instagram they got three million followers well i, I don't know if i can show this on youtube but nah, i don't these videos don't get monetized anyway so it's all good um it's owned by oh i think dan bilzerian owns it right how many followers does he have he's probably tagged in this or something well maybe not but dan bilzerian has like 20 i don't know how many million followers in the double digits that's for sure so you would think oh man this is this is a pretty good company like all oh, these pictures get 300k likes stuff like that let me buy some of the dan bilzerian stock you know it's only in the canadian like you can't buy this in the u.s stock exchanges you can if you don't have robin hood um other than robin hood like other brokerages you could probably buy the stock in but just and um you just have to make sure it's in the canadian exchange i don't know how it works exactly but um yeah that is that it's down quite a bit this year okay maybe it's a good buy right now um and no man no no <laughs> this um is probably one of the worst stocks you could possibly buy especially since it's owned by basically a guy that's almost a millionaire and i'm gonna show you exactly why first of all i think this is their the latest quarter or not late yeah the last quarter that just ended and it just released i think like two days ago it said it was released like on the first of december which means they were two months late reporting it which i don't even think that's legal um to release a public company two months late of their reports but that's just, just crazy. Now, I forgot to say this, but make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm almost at um, 600 subscribers, and I'm trying to reach that by the end of the year. So if any of you guys can help me out and subscribe to this channel, I make videos like these and talking about stocks. And yeah, that would be really appreciated. So yeah, um, let's, dude, let's take a look at the freaking um, financials. Like, you guys will be amazed. A year ago, they had 15 million in the bank. This is Canadian dollars, but it's it's basically US. It's very similar, give or take a few mil. Um, 15 million they had last year. This year, they have less than a mil left. Now, to give them um, a break here, they do have 3 million investments, which they didn't have last year. Um, so that's that, but that still does not, dude, that does not, um, the 15 million, 3 million is nothing compared to that. It doesn't even touch it. Let's look at their profit, right? They made 400, 500K profit. Okay, that's not bad, right? In a quarter, it's not too shabby. That's only half of the profit they made um, last year, th this time last year. And um, nine months ago, nine months ended, they made this much. And they are almost at 2 million in the last nine months. Okay, that's not bad, half a million look at how much they spent you guys will never guess how much they spent to get half a million dollars in revenue um i don't know if dan bilzerian is just um i'm pretty sure there's some fraud going on here like i'm pretty sure but half a million how much have they spent in operating they've spent almost two million in a quarter in operating expenses that's only operating expenses that's not how much it costs to um do the other stuff to actually uh, make the products i believe stuff like that two million almost in a quarter, they spent. Of anything, you got that should tell you that this is a pretty terrible run company already, man. To spend two million, that guy would have to. I don't know what he's doing, man. I don't know what he's doing. But their total income, okay, two hundred mil, two hundred thousand. But then their total loss is at six million. Net income loss, six million that is crazy they've lost six million dollars in the last um, um quarter that should be okay like okay for a growth company i mean six million is not that much no dude look at how much they have in cash they only have 800 um how much was it current assets cash gas equivalent they only have 900k 
left. They have 900k left in cash, and they're spending six million dollars. They're they're literally going bankrupt. Like there's no way they don't go bankrupt unless um, Dan Bilzerian funds it himself, which he put 25 million into the business um, himself. I don't know where he got that money from. Um, obviously, his parents or his dad is pretty rich as well, and he's got money. Like they're pretty rich, but. You would think that a company would be pr run pretty well for them to be that successful. No, man. There's definitely some kind of fraud going on here for him to spend that kind of money. Like, even if you spent the worst kind of advertisements possible, if you, if you put a billboard up everywhere, you would still generate more income than um, literally he spent 2 million, 3 million, and only got 500K out of it. Like, are you kidding me? That's literally only like 25% of your money back when you're advertising. You want to, like, Every dollar you put in advertising, you want to make at least like some like 5% of that even more. This guy is making negative. So there's definitely something very um, strange going on here, especially since this company has been around for a while, man. This company has been around for a few years now. So I'm pretty sure he's either doing some kind of like very sketchy stuff. Like I'm pretty sure he's using the money for this company to fund his um, like houses and stuff like that. And he's basically saying, oh, it's a business expense. I'm living in this huge house. It's using to pay it off. I'm pretty sure it's confirmed that he's using this company's money to buy his house or to rent it. I don't think he owns that house. But that is that. If you guys buy this stock today, you're fools. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.